Hello everyone, welcome back to another historical recipe testing video. Today we will be exploring 19th century candle making using a recipe from the Encyclopedia of Practical Receipts and Processes by William B. Dick circa 1872. We're trying recipe number 640 which is how to harden tallow for making candles. I won't be using a candle mold because I don't have one. I will be making dipped or tapered candles. Candles. For this recipe, you will need beef or sheep fat, which is known as tallow, which can be leftover fat from cooking. You will need alum powder, which I got from a baking supply store. And you'll need candle wicks, which I made in a previous video from cotton yarn and borax. Firstly, I'm weighing out my tallow. Ingredient amounts will be in the description box below. Then I will be putting it in a glass of hot water to melt. Next, I will be whisking the alum as the recipe instructs and adding an unspecified amount of water in which to dissolve the alum. After the alum is dissolved, add some of the melted tallow into the alum and start whisking it. Now, I noticed that the more I whisked, the less likely the alum was going to ever mix into the tallow. It just kept completely separate and formed like a chunk of undissolved alum. Because that didn't work, I tried whisking the alum powder directly into the tallow instead. Now this was when some of the tallow was semi-melted so it was kind of creamy. Then I put it back into the melting jar and back into freshly heated hot water to melt once again. And I kept stirring it so that the alum in the tallow would hopefully combine. Now I'm starting to make the dipped candle by putting about an 8 inch uh, length of candle wick into the tallow, then into ice cold water to harden, then back into the tallow again, then back into the ice cold water. It's basically a very slow and tedious back and forth process, dipping and removing and dipping and removing. Now you can see that the tallow kind of rose to the top and the aloes, alum sunk to the bottom and I tried whisking it together as you can see but it soon separated again and I don't know how much of an effect the alum was having seeing that it was completely separate from and wouldn't ever dissolve into the tallow but let's look at the final candle it is a little bit wonky so I tried to kind of smooth it out with my hands some people roll it until it's completely smooth uh, next I tried lighting it and it took a few tries but finally Finally, I got it lighted and actually it became a pretty firm and decent looking candle that produced a nice light and I actually use uh, this candle to light the lint which was my fire starter for my barbecue in my previous video so you can see it held up to 90 degree or 30 degree Celsius weather pretty well I guess the next thing we could try doing is comparing a tallow candle made with the alum with a tallow candle made without the alum. All I know is that the candle works. It's a little bit soft to the touch because of the hot weather we've been having here. But other than that, it has burned really, really well. And I'm pretty happy with it given that it's mostly made from scrap materials. So if you like this video, do like, subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Bye!